Okay, I know what you're thinking. He's finally lost it. Waving his camera around like a madman. Some people will do anything for attention. In this week's landscape photography video, I'm going to show you how to create some photographic art with a very simple technique. What is that technique? <laughs> well, you saw me waving the camera around. That is something called ICM, or intentional camera movement. Everyone has their own idea about ICM. Some people don't even like it. I think it's a lot of fun, and you can actually create some really nice pieces of work. Some people have their preferred methods of doing ICM. I really got into it by doing really simple stuff. In woodland like this, especially if you can find a contrasty scene, and with all the snow around, that's just absolutely perfect. You got light coloured trees, dark coloured trees, you got the snow. Select a really slow shutter speed. On this old Nikon here, I usually use about an eighth of a second. Find a very contrasty scene like you've seen. I just simply take camera, focus on a spot, turn your autofocus off, and just simply do that. That movement there creates a, a lot of blur and you can get some really cool images. Other ways of doing ICM, and this is a technique I've not really done an awful lot of, but I plan on doing some today, is where you take the camera and you just randomly wave in the camera around different movements, again selecting a really slow shutter speed. Put a filter on there. I'm using a polarizer today. Uh, you could use a four stop or a six stop. And just wave the camera around, different movements, checking the back of the camera after every image. You'll see kind of the effects and you can adjust accordingly. Don't really have the subjects for this type of stuff today, but I'm gonna try it anyway, see if I can't get something a bit different from just your regular tree shots that I do like this. I'm gonna put an image on the screen now which was taken down at Waterside Beach in the summertime. That was taken by moving the camera in this direction, like this. Again, selecting a slow shutter speed and doing this type of movement, just randomly do a bunch of different shots. That's the key, is doing lots of different images. And the image that you've just seen was created in that way. I actually done quite a lot like that. Here's another one you'll see on the screen now. Again, that image was created by doing this. Really simple. That was with the Fujifilm 55-200 to lens, uh, which I was able to get right in on some of the details and create those lines, abstract lines and colours in the sand and the water. I really like those images. You may or may not. You can let me know in the comments. Another thing I just did the other night there on a the computer was to take two different images from Waterside and blend them together. I took this image on the screen now and combined it with this one. And that gave me the result that you're seeing now. I think it's really cool. So experiment guys, there's no right or wrong way. If you want to know more about ICM, I suggest you check out Andy Gray's website. Absolute master of ICM, but he takes it to a totally different level. I'm not at that level yet, but I'm going to try and do some of that type of movement today and blend some images and see if I can not get something along the lines that Andy creates. So we'll walk on through the park here and see what kind of ICM images we can get. Obviously we're going to get lots of this type of thing with the trees, images that you've seen even in last week's video, but something hopefully a little bit better. We'll see if we can not get some of those more creative images. So let's go. So guys, you'll see here, uh, again I'm using an icon, I have taken a few images with the Fujifilm, uh, with the 18-55 that's filming now, but just so I could actually show you the technique, I fired off a couple of shots there, you saw me just doing this. The reason I came to this spot here was, you can see here with the, the white snow and the different colours in the trees there, really creates that contrast that I was talking about. 
One thing I try to do when I'm doing this type of shot is not to get the sky in the image. I find when I get the sky, highlights are blown out and it's really, really difficult. I much prefer getting down low, focus on something there, using the autofocus to lock on, turn the autofocus off and simply, and you'll get that nice streaking effect. Another thing I've actually tried there with the Fujifilm was put it on multiple exposure setting and do two images. Take one like this, move the camera slightly and do another. And you'll see them on the screen as well. So there's lots of possibilities with ICM guys. I'm going to play around in this section here because there is a lot of potential here with all the different colours like I said. Both sides of the walkway. Might even try some try and get the path in but the path here is kind of blends in with this, the rest of the snow there's no definition in the pathway I can maybe try a pathway shot a bit further up on the main trail there so the potential is there and uh, I encourage you to get out and do a bit of ICM it's really fun and uh, you never know you might just come up with a masterpiece we'll move a bit further up onto the main trail and see if I can't get a pathway shot. So guys, I've been walking through the park here doing a bunch of ICMs, mostly trees, uh, that really ghostly contrasty, uh, the, dark, the dark bark of the trees against the snow, giving those ghostly images. So I'd try and get a pathway shot using ICM, but still try and keep the detail on the path leading into the scene. <laughs> There's a guy in Florida there, Paul Cook. If you're watching, I know you like a good pathway shot, and I know ICM's not your favorite, but uh, this one's for you if it turns out. Pathway behind me here. A lot of light colored trees on this side, some darker ones on this side. The path has been cleared, so it is kind of dark and it does lead in. So I'm hoping that that's going to show up in the image. It's going to still look a bit ghostly, but with the path leading in. That's the intentions. We'll see what happens. If the shot's any good, it's on the screen. Hope you like it, Paul. So while I was taking that pathway shot, I had to be really patient. There was an awful lot of people walking through the, walking on the main trail there, and I had to wait between groups of people to get that pathway shot that you just saw me take. And that got me thinking, I wonder what people would look like in ICM. So I actually just stood there uh, on the pathway, and as people walked past into the image, I would just take a shot from behind, just blur the shot, uh, with the movement that I showed you previously. So I'm not sure how they're going to turn out. People and ICM, something I've never done before, but I thought I'd just give it a try. It looked interesting because there was a lot of people walking their dogs and they had coloured jackets on red and blue and they're walking their dog through the scene. So I thought, what the hell, I'll take a shot. And I just did that movement that I showed you previously, just that vertical movement. Uh, and I tried a couple of multiple exposures as well. Again, setting the camera, uh, on the multiple exposure setting and just firing off a couple of random shots using the vertical movement and a couple just using random movements as well. We'll see how they work out. May have to blend a couple of those shots, maybe blend one of the shots with the people in the picture with one of the pathways and we'll see what we come up with. Not sure how it's going to work out but like I said I wanted to do something a bit more creative than just the vertical or horizontal pans and we'll see what we get. I hope you like them.
And I think what I'm going to do now, guys, is walk back towards the car. You've seen that spillway there where the water comes out of the reservoir and down the hill through the woodland. I think that might be an interesting image for an ICM. Don't know, but we'll go and try it anyway and see how it turns out. So you just saw me fire off a bunch of images there at the spillway uh, and I think I'm going to call it there guys, I think that's about it for today. Not quite sure how they're going to turn out but the most important thing is that I captured, captured lots of images that I can maybe use at a later date and I certainly did capture lots of images. I've shot hundreds of images today guys, not sure how many of them we're going to use. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see the gallery there at the end. Stay tuned for that gallery coming up and hopefully you're going to see some awesome shots, some from today. And I'll maybe throw in a couple from previous outings as well. So that's it guys. Get out there and try some ICM. You're going to love it. All that's left to say now guys is uh, thanks a lot for watching. Really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit the button guys. Cheers for now. And I'll see you in the next one.